And I'm just checking one more time. Do we have Regent Austin on the call? We're going to try to reach him real quick and then we'll get started. Oh, there he is. Okay, I think we have Regent Austin now. You could unmute. It's star six for anyone on their phones. Chairman Austin, do we have you? Laura, I'm on. Sorry. Okay, great. That's okay. All right. Well, good morning, everyone. This is Laura Tibbetts in the system office. Um, I'm showing we've got our committee here. So with that, I'll turn it over to you, um, Regent Scott. Thank you. And good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Telephonic Planning and Construction Committee meeting of Tuesday, May the 10th, 2022. The time is 11.05, a notice of this meeting was provided to Secretary of State as required by Texas Government Code. Please note the audio of this meeting is being broadcast live. Uh, before we take a roll call, I'd like to remind everybody to mute your phones. Laura, let's begin the roll call. Okay, thank you. I'll start with you, Regent Scott. I'm here. Regent Austin. Here. Regent Lee. Here. Thank you. Do we have any other regents with us today? Thank you. I'll move down to the system staff, starting with Chancellor McCall. Here. Daniel Harper. Here. Donna Bryce. Here. Peter Moss. Here. Derek Alexander. Here. Carol Fox. I know she said she's joining us. She may be streaming. Um, Malou Gonzalez? Here. Nellie Herrera? Here. Sean Cunningham? Here. Harris Mitchell? Here. Do we have any other system staff on the call? Okay, thank you. I'll move to our components, starting with Lamar University. Uh, Heidi Taylor, here. Thank you. Anyone else from Lamar? Catherine Miller and Jamie Larson. Thank you. Sam Houston? Elisa White. Yes, Elisa. And Carlos Hernandez. Thank you. Moving to Sol Ross. Jim Goodman. Great. And I had a note that President Gallego was on the road, and he also mentioned that Provost um, Dr. Contens might be on the call. Are you there? That's okay. Okay, moving on to Texas State. Uh, Denise Trouth here. Um, Eric Algo is joining by phone and Lisa Lloyd uh, by YouTube. Okay, thank you, President Trouth. LIT. Do I have anyone from LIT yet? Okay, moving on to Lamar State College Orange. Hello. Oh, sorry, do we have Dr. Howard? I'm sorry, Dr. Howard's having challenges getting it on. Uh, this is Rudy Gonzalez and Amanda Rutherford. Okay, great. Thank you. 
Uh, Lamar State College, Lamar State College Orange. Tom Johnson, Wendy Elmore, Stephanie Stanley. Thank you, Dr. Johnson and Lamar State College Orange. Betty Renard. Thank you. And did I miss anyone? Yes, Laura. I was able to join Lonnie Howard, LIT. Thank you, President Howard. Okay, that completes roll call. Thank you, Laura. We have a short agenda today. Daniel and I had an opportunity to review the agenda prior to the meeting. At this time, I'll turn the meeting over to Daniel, who will present the Planning and Construction Committee items. Uh, Daniel? Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So we have three items today. The first item is the annual capital improvements program. So this is the update to our CIP for the next six years. <clears throat> this includes new construction and renovations for projects above $1 million. If approved, the CIP will be $561 million, which is around half of what it was last year. You'll turn to page uh, 202, you'll find a summary by institution, year, and funding source. Uh, $62 million to be financed through tuition revenue bond projects. These are not, these are in addition to the ones that were funded by the uh, third special session. $129 million funded through HEAF funds, higher education funds. These are mainly for renovations across the campus. 39 million funded from auxiliary enterprises and unexpended funds. It's predominantly parking housing. You'll see there's some smaller projects on there. And as an example, LU has on there for the roof repairs for Cardinal Village that fall underneath that. Uh, $90 million financed through our revenue financing system. And that's predominantly some athletic projects and a portion of the music building at Texas State. And then $155 million funded through potential gifts in the future. Examples at Texas State's portion of the music building in Spring Lake. For Sol Ross, it's the Borderland Research Institute and Lamar University. Their largest project is a theater renovation. And then the remaining funding category is our others, and that's projects that are on the list, but a funding source has not been identified. And following the summary, there's about 20 pages that has various levels of detail on the projects that are on the CIP. And Mr. Chairman, that concludes so my... Yes, sir? Daniel, quick question. So you said that this amount is half of what it was last year? Yes, sir. So is that from completed projects or projects that have just been pushed out further uh, outside of the, the scope of this, this exercise? So this is, so the CIP is for projects that haven't begun yet. And last okay. year we had all of those tuition revenue bond projects that gotcha. hadn't yeah. begun because there wasn't funding. So um, the past, I guess, few months, we've technically started all of those projects. And we could talk about that um, on our next item, which is our quarterly summary. Right. What, what constitutes start? So starting is when, they, when the funding has been identified and the programming of the project begins. Gotcha. And okay. so in order for them to start the project, it has to be on the CIP. A funding source has to be identified and then board rule allows them to spend a small portion of the project getting it to a point where they can bring it to the full board for uh, at the design development uh, stage. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Okay, are there any other questions? Are there any objections to moving this item to the full board? Hearing no objection, we'll move this item to the full board. Daniel, would you take us to item two? Yes, sir. So this is an informational item and does not require a vote. The, it is the TSUS planning and construction quarterly report. 
and it begins on page 225 of your materials. Um, if you turn to page 226, this will give you uh, the graph that kind of shows <clears throat> the activity broken out between planning, design, and construction, and we're just under a billion dollars. Uh, we're at 935 million. And you can see uh, regionally, if you're on page 227, that we moved at the February, in February we moved, and you can see those projects that have moved to the planning phase, which means they came off the CIP and then moved to an act project. Um, and that's all predominantly all associated with uh, those tuition revenue bond projects that we're moving forward. And then I speculate that you will see this same trend that you see on the left side uh, moving forward as these projects move from planning into design and then ultimately construction. And then once they're completed, they will uh, come off of uh, this report. And then following the summaries, there is a list of the projects by institution above $1 million. <clears throat> and then last of this item is a final report for Texas State's Round Rock campus. Um, that project has been completed. It's the campus services building. And the project was budgeted at $6.2 million and came in around $500,000 under budget. And so, Mr. Chairman, I'll open it up. For, yes, sir. I said that's almost unheard of to come in under budget in today's day and time. Well, give credit to the hard work of the people at Texas State. <clears throat> Unless there's any questions on that, we can move to the final item, which is our consent agenda. And it's a one item. It's additions to the current CIP so that these projects can be initiated <clears throat> before September 1st. And it's at LIT, it's an HVAC repair, or actually, say, yeah, it's an HVAC repair. Total project cost is 5.8 million. It'll be funded between the federal stimulus dollars and the HEAF allocation. Uh, Lamar State College Orange has a $2.5 million for a mechanical manufacturing maintenance center. That'll be funded between HEAF and a gift. Lamar University has some renovations to the College of Arts and Sciences. And then Texas State has um, six projects that they'd like to initiate. An HVAC repair, um, fire suppression at Butler Hall, HVAC at Butler Hall, some renovations to the LBJ Center, a student center at the McCoy School, and then some electrical equipment upgrades for Harris Dining Hall and the Rec Sports Center. And Mr. Chairman, that concludes my overview of the consent agenda. Any questions? Are there any objections to moving this item to the full board without this time? Hearing no objections, we'll move this item to the full board. Is there any other business to be brought, Daniel? Uh, no, sir. That concludes the agenda. Very good. I want, any other questions or comments from the board members? No, sir. Hey, Bill, this is Duke. I, I just want to say a lot of, a lot of capital went through here, and in my mind, I thought the system performed really well, and commend all the universities uh, for getting it done. It's not easy. So, thank you. You bet. We all agree with you, dude. Uh, if there are no other questions uh, or discussion, this concludes our telephone meeting today. And for the record, the time is 1117. I look forward to being with all of you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.